During a Pakistan Navy exercise on the 16th of December, an unknown entity completely jammed the communication channels of Pakistan Navy's Sea Eagle Maritime Patrol aircraft, while it was attempting to establish a data link with Yarmouk-class offshore patrol vessel, resulting in a serious disruption of airborne surface coordination during the drill. Turkey has test-fired its Typhoon short-range ballistic missile which demonstrated a 561 km range, which is a concern for India, as close Turkey-Pakistan defense ties could give Pakistan an alternative ballistic missile source beyond China. The Indian Army successfully conducted an airborne exercise at the Majuli Island drop zone in Assam, validating rapid airborne insertion, precision drop techniques and swift consolidation of forces in a riverine island environment. The Indian Army conducted a joint integrated training exercise employing Rudra attack helicopters and infantry operated FPV drones to achieve seamless ground-to-air combat integration. India has reissued a no-time warning for a sea-launched missile test in the Bay of Bengal scheduled for 22nd to 24th December, with a declared range of 3,240 km, pointing to K-4 SLBM. India has issued a notification for a missile test in the Bay of Bengal on the 24th of December for a range of around 470 km, suggesting a short to medium range missile trial as part of routine capability validation activities. In a major logistics breakthrough, the Indian Army has successfully moved tanks, artillery guns and engineering equipment into the Kashmir Valley using a military special train, sharply boosting operational readiness in the region. The Indian Navy has commissioned its second MH-60 Romeo anti-submarine helicopter squadron at INS Hansa. The DRDO has invited Indian industry to acquire transfer of technology for advanced missile and aerial bomb warhead systems developed by the High Energy Materials Research Laboratory, to boost indigenous munitions production and reduce import dependence. Russian Defense Minister has announced, that the 1st S-500 Prometheus Regiment has officially entered combat duty following its deployment. The DRDO has issued a tender to develop a high-fidelity ground-based test rig for airborne active electronically scanned array radars, replicating full fighter jet interfaces for pre-flight software testing and certification. It will feature portable smart tracks, radar-level aircraft simulation, and advanced data visualization, that will accelerate development and validation of indigenous ACE radar programs. The Gata Command Combat Aerial Vehicle has entered an advanced development phase, with its final configuration frozen under D1 or a project, enabling detailed design manufacturing and testing, airframe design aerodynamic validation system architecture and maintainability studies are complete, with primary structure fabrication underway. The dry cavalry engine has been successfully integrated and ground tested, validating propulsion and power systems. High fidelity avionics test infrastructure, flight control computers, landing gear and structural test rigs are in advanced stages. India has crossed a major aero engine milestone after recent high level talks between Safran aircraft engines and the gas turbine research establishment. The proposed AMC engine will be a clean sheet design, packing 5.5 generation technology, while retaining F414 dimensions for seamless integration on AMC A Mark I and Mark II. The engine will use advanced high temperature materials capable of operating at turbine entry temperatures of 2000 degrees Celsius, drawing from Safran's M88 T-Rex and the French NGF 6th generation stealth fighter core technologies. The modular engine targets 120 kN in Indian hot and high conditions, around 130 kN in cooler climates, with growth potential to 140 kN in India. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.